Yo guys, right here, and we are officially one day out from the competition, and I'm really excited. I've been working really hard for this, and right now I'm about to go get my first coat of tan, so I'm going to get all bronzed up, and I'll catch you right after. Alright, so I just got my first coat of tan done. They didn't do my face or hands, that's what I was hoping for, so you could see my bronze face. But they're doing that tomorrow. So right now I'm going home and I'm gonna eat some sushi and I'm gonna go record that and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, so this is my fill out meal for the show tomorrow. Got all it. Hey guys, so I literally just woke up. <clears throat> it's like five in the morning right now, as you can see. And right now I'm gonna my first meal. I'll show you guys what that's gonna be. And then I'm gonna just hop in the car and I'll see you in the car. And I'm really excited for today. And I've been working really hard for this, like I said before. And I can't wait to see what happens later today on stage. I'm, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I can't wait for the meal after. So I'll catch you guys later. Alright, so what we got here, I'll just focus that in a little bit. Alright, so what we got here is a half cup of oats and I put a little chocolate donut seasoning from Flavor God in there. It's really good. It's been helping me throughout this prep. And I got um five ounces of tilapia and this is a cool way I make it. It's really good. And it's also been helping me throughout prep because before I was going with like without seasoning and stuff. But this is really good and I suggest you try it. And I put cinnamon, mostly cinnamon, cayenne and turmeric on. And the um, the cayenne it also helps like thermogenically. It'll help you burn a little fat. Turmeric's good for the joints, and cinnamon is good to help reduce inflammation. So I mostly throw like a lot of cinnamon on because it makes it taste really good. But other than that, like the other two spices, I don't put as much on because it just kind of like upsets my stomach. <clears throat> my voice just cracked. It kind of upsets my stomach, and it just makes me feel like really awful. So yeah, this is my first meal of the day. And then I'm gonna go over to the school to just get there early because they're starting tanning at seven. It's first come first serve, so I just want to make sure I get there early. So I'll catch you there. All right. So actually, before I get going, I'm just gonna show you guys like what I'm gonna bring. I got some goodies and also just like a couple meals that I'm gonna bring just to like eat, of course. <laughs> so um. Right here, I got four meals of five ounces of tilapia and 20 pieces of asparagus. And then here, so this is the goodie bag. This is where the dreams come true in here. After three months of dieting. So in there, we got some Dunkin's, some Munchkin's. I'll also bring my chocolate donut seasoning just to put on, just cause why the hell not. There, got a ton of candy bars, Reese's, Kit Kat, Milky Way, got everything, baby. <laughs> now I'm gonna heat all these meals up, get in the car, and we're off to the school. Okay, so we're on our way to the competition. Are you ready, Dad? Get ready, get ready to go. Yeah, see you there. setting out in the men's um, dressing room. That's where the tan people told us to come. But it is such a small room. I'm not sure how they're gonna expect all the competitors to fit in here. I mean, there's like barely any room. But I mean, it's pretty nice, just kind of small. But um, just waiting for my coach Jules to get here. And we're gonna tan up soon, just get my coat, like my um, next few coats and also just some touch-ups. And I'll be ready for the stage and I'm really excited for those donuts and candy. So, next time you'll see me, it's gonna be during pre judging. So, catch you guys later.
So pre-judging went all right. I mean, I was up against like guys who were doing this for years, like a lot older than me. But like, I was kind of the tallest one in my class at least. But I was like held on to the right side. I didn't make center. I mean, it's okay. I got some stuff to work on. I'm not disappointed about this at all. And you know, I just feel proud of myself for going into the open division, just really challenging myself, going up against older guys. But I mean, some of them were you know on some stuff and you know have more muscle maturity. But that's not, like, making me feel any different about myself. It just shows me, like, I just got to stay dedicated to this like I always do. I'm only five years in the training. I mean, that's a long time. But, I mean, I still got a lot of time to grow, a lot of weak points to bring up. But I'm just excited for finals, excited for my posing routine. And then I got a lot of food planned for after finals. So I'm really excited. And I'm just so grateful for, like, all the support that I've gotten. And, you know, without my without like my family, my friends, and everyone, I wouldn't be able to do this, I wouldn't be able to challenge myself like I did, but I mean, it just shows like what I need to work on, you know, conditioning could have been a bit sharper, but like I said, I'm not disappointed, I'm just really hungry and thirsty. Okay, so right now, me and my dad are at IHOP for the post prejudging cheat. I got cupcake pancakes, red velvet, and hash browns, my dad got chocolate chip, pancakes, bacon, Another and napkin next. too, please. So, I'm gonna eat up. And I'm excited to eat this. I just got home. Right now, I'm gonna have that that Ben and Jerry's, and we got pizza. 
and also Krispy Kreme donuts are coming. So I'm gonna chow down. video but just never got to it just too much on my mind and feel like it but right now I'm with Jordan hi there <laughs> how 3cc head 3cc head this isn't even I didn't even get this he, got, <laughs> he made it at the cherry old mall I did <laughs> so yeah the competition it went pretty good for what I did what I achieved especially since I competed in the open and I didn't place and I don't care I knew I didn't place during pre-judging because they didn't move me on stage but I should have placed over this one guy, and I'll probably put some pictures to show you guys. Like, they're gonna have a watermark on them because I don't feel like paying for the goddamn photos. But I'll show you, like, from pre judging and then finals. I mean, you guys can see the pictures from finals because I was dehydrated and then I just wanted to drink and then I spilled over, but it's no big deal. I mean, for what I did in the open division, especially like how I looked, I thought it was pretty decent, especially for being 18. And I still got a lot of time in the sport, so just excited to see what the future holds for me. And so what I was going to say in the one week out video was just like a couple things. Like for one, I just finished Accutane, like almost, like it was Memorial Day I finished it. And my skin just cleared up. I'll show some pictures from that too, like how my skin looked. Acne transformation. Yeah, <laughs> skin gains. <laughs> And I had really bad acne on my back. It was like almost like I was taking some, like steroids. Everyone thought I was. I'm not. But um, my acne cleared up so much. Like I don't have any really on my back. Just a little bit on my shoulders. But I mean, I just got off. So it just like a little bit came back. So it's all been good. And I've been t it was it was like a five month thing, and it was brutal because my face got so dry. My lips were always dry. But I mean, I think it's worth it in the end, especially for how bad my acne was. So it also really cleared up my face. I don't get that much on my face anymore. So that's what I wanted to say. And that's why, like I mentioned, like I was getting a blood test or something, like in the past, and in Instagram post, and it was just to make sure my cholesterol didn't go up because side effect of um, Accutane is raising cholesterol. So just want to make sure that was in check, and you have to. And also, oh, also you have to meet up with your dermatologist every month. But that's all gone. No more acne. Yay. And, um, I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, let me ask you, Jordan, like, how'd you feel about me on stage? Because Jordan was actually there for pre-judging. I was there for pre-judging. Yeah. 
So I thought he stacked up fairly well, especially the wheels uh, department. Mm. So um, most of these guys are on um, pretty hefty cycles, even though it's like amateur hour. Um, everyone's on a shit ton of gear. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. I heard, I heard this one guy who was like pumping up, and he said, "I think the wind stroll's kicking in." So definitely on stuff. But like, I was one of the only naturals there. But I mean, only eighteen. Also, like I said, I still got time to grow. But um, yeah. Compared to everyone else, we actually just looked at um photos just from prejudging. Just I got I gave my opinion, but also Jordan. Like, what did you think about the photos? Just looking back at it again. I mean. I mean, besides the water and yeah. just some size issues, but I mean, if you're dieting down without anabolics, you're going to be small. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, the, that's the thing. I know that feel. I was 130 when I competed. <laughs> I felt like a fucking beast. So. <laughs> I helped him with his prep. It was, um. It didn't look bad. I mean, it was good for his I first like competition. I was a starving child. Hey, at least you placed. That's uh, true. Yeah. I was a, I was a placing starving child. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, I mean, we in order to prevent yourself from going catabolic, obviously you gotta be taking shit, and all those guys were taking plenty of shit, so that's why they maintain a lot of mass, but, I mean, right, was keeping up with them, so. Yeah, I didn't look out of place. Now it's just working on the conditioning. And, and a little bit more size. Yeah, I mean, and the overall, I mean, that showed the judges were just, like, really anal about the conditioning, which I get, so, if you look at the overall, um, physique, and, um, and uh, classic physique. I didn't. I didn't see the overall bodybuilding because I don't really give a shit about bodybuilding. But um, some of the guys were there were really big, like in body. I heard, yeah, really big. So like, if you if you look at the overalls, they were dialed in. So I mean, just cater to what the judges want. Yeah. So I mean, overall, like it was good, but I just need to really focus on putting on size. I mean, I just am sick of like. Losing size, like going through prep, and then having just the like rebound. I mean, my rebound's been going really good. Just putting on, I put on a little bit of mass in my upper chest, and that's an area I need to work on. Also, my arms are starting to get a little bigger, so so I'm gonna be probably putting on size until I'm like 20, just to really see like where I'm at when it comes to size, and then I'll get the conditioning right. Just water, water's my worst issue. I always hold a little much in my back and my abdominal area, and that's like, I'm always prone to that, and I'm not sure why, I'm not sure what's wrong, but I mean, we'll finally, like, figure out what's wrong soon, hopefully. Yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, I just want to say thank you to all, like, the people who were supporting me through prep and everything, like my family, friends, Jordan, Hi. and also thank you to my coach, Jules. I mean, he did a great job, especially where I was last year. I don't even talk about last year because it was just so bad, but then... Right now, I'm going to just end it with a funny story about Ronnie Coleman and me. And it was like, when I met him at Attilis, like, a couple months ago, um, he, was, he was a nice guy. I mean, talked to him for a little bit, just said, like, how he stacked up against, like, Kevin LeBron and I think Flex Wheel or some picture I saw. He said, I said, like, he looked amazing compared to them. But um, after the fact, like, I was just hanging out with some of my friends, and I had to use the bathroom. So I go in the bathroom, and Ronnie Coleman is in there. He's just on the urinal. He has his um, his what are the, like the, the the canes or whatever, oh, like a fucking walker. Yeah, he has his walkers, <laughs> and he's just <laughs> he's just pissing in the urinal. And I say, "Hey, Ron," and he's like, "He he, buddy," or something, something. I forget what he said. But then I went to the stall, and then it hit me that I'm pissing that's next to the fucking eight time Mister Olympia, and I was just like, "Wow, this is like this is interesting." So. Like, I hear him, and I, like, he walks into the bathroom, this is when I was in the ur in the, um, the stall, and he goes up to the urinal, and he drops his stuff, and you can just hear his, like, walker just, like, bang on the ground, and then you just hear him make his, like, signature Ronnie noise, like, oh, yip, yip, and then, it was just so funny, it was, it was like, yeah, oh. <laughs> when he was peeing, and then I get out, and then I watch my hand and say, see you, Ronnie, and he's like, oh, see you, and... It was just the weirdest experience of my life, especially when the reality hit me that I'm pissing next to the eight-time Mr. Olympia. But, like, he's just he's like just how he is, like, when you see him on videos and stuff, and I think just hilarious. But, I mean, mad respect to that dude, because, like, you just, it's just so sad to see him on the walkers from what he used to be, but that's how I want to end this video, and I just haven't gotten the video out because I've just been having, like, so much to do. 
college and everything. But I'm going to probably edit it soon, get it out, and then I'm going to probably do my transformation video whenever I get the time. Because it's just going to, I just have so much. I mean, I'm going into college. We're going into college. So. Yeah, education. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And more to cook.